Never go easy. Never go easy, Phil. Never go f***ing easy. So we are live and direct to Max Ellis. He's having a shave. Well, I've been busy and it hasn't been time because it's quite handy because obviously in the bathroom it's dark and I've had to get a mug of water and just carry on shaving while I'm talking to you. It's a first for the podcast, isn't it, Max? It is a first for me, anyway. Did you ever use those shaving oils? No, I don't really need to because I've got a face full of oh, hair. <laughs> but well, I always use that first because it stops you getting cut, but I haven't used it this time, so there could be some blood. Oh, Oh, I feel, I feel like an accident's about to happen. I'm, fingers it crossed it won't, but <laughs> it's a shame it's not high definition. Is this good television, Phil? <laughs> it is. It's riveting. I saw you were out and about with the wife then. Yeah, well, the wife came around here because she came to Bermondsey. We did a podcast here and we were missing you. So we thought it was a good idea to Skype you. What have you well, been up to? January's always a bit dead, especially in... The fitness photography thing is obviously all the all the bodybuilders and physique people have got fat over Christmas and don't take their tops off for at least a month after you know after Christmas. Yeah, is that frustrating for you because you want to see a bit of flesh, don't you, on your pics? It's the job, so you know I'm not that bothered either way. But obviously, if uh, I've been doing a lot of stag stag stuff, I had a picture on the, the BBC winter. Yeah, watch that's show. that's stags the animal, not stag do's, is it? Oh, no, no, no. I've never been to a stag do. Well, I went to one actually in. Um, in Devon, my agent had a surfing weekend, which was very nice, but I still got horrendously pissed and uh, spent one all of the Sunday vomiting into the sea. Nice. <laughs> oh, God, there's water splashing onto the screen. As long as it's not blood. We don't care about water. You, you should never mix water with electrics, I guess, but... No, it's never good. We don't want I, blood, I, Max. Never, you know when you, you hit a, something at the back of your head and it stings a bit, and you're thinking, oh, that's going to bleed. The worst one is where, it's where your glasses sit on the side of your head. If you cut that bit, then you Ooh. know days of misery. Because you've got that big vein there at the side of you. Well, I have. I've got quite a big bulbous yeah, vein. Yeah, I think it's not just me then. I thought that was just having children. Did that? You? <laughs> the stress of being married to the diva. Oh, there. So, yeah, she's, got, she's out today talking at the local school. And it's like, it's the, she does about the same amount of preparation she does for an international gig. So she's been sort of trying out outfits and, you know, practising her lines. Oh, she likes well, to be professional. She does, yeah. I mean, it's good. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. You yeah. know, so I'm going to lose an eyebrow in a minute, I think, if I carry on like this. Oh, that might be a look. I cannot fucking see a thing. What's it like underneath? Yeah, well, you've got quite a wispy bit, because your beard is really huge now, isn't it? You've got a big beard now. <laughs> this is where I lose an eyebrow. Oh, yeah, that that's... <laughs> So I give up now. Where's all this hair going? In my in my pint glass. <laughs> mm, vitamins. I'll probably take a swig of that in a minute by mistake. I can't see anything. You have to look. Can I do the back? You, if I turn round, you can yeah, come with g- Give us a twirl lamp here. Oh, shit. The large, the large <laughs> my Mohican came off then. I may be completely bald after the end of this uh, podcast. So, yeah. No, I've been um, obviously been out. Lots of music. Lots of new music. It's just amazing. There's been a few things where I've seen people posting, like just ranting and raving about how much vinyl they bought. Like everybody is like buying, you know, even Gulliver got himself uh, had a record box for his birthday present. Yeah, he had and Nirvana, he, didn't he? Bought Nirvana. Yeah, and he's got, it's half full now. I mean, he's sort of picked up a few um, old stuff of, that's been lying around. A friend of mine got me a load of records, so he's been through that collection and picked out the, the, choice, the choice cuts out of that thing. But he's, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's, it's just such a great thing, you know, it's for, for everything, for music, you know, especially it's, it's amazing because it's just, you know, it's revitalizing the sales of, of music. Now he likes, he likes a proper song. I think he doesn't, he doesn't hold much truck with the crap I listen to. You know, he's kind of, <laughs> I put things on and the other guy, the, the, his guitar teacher came around and I was playing a record and he just put the door sort of knocked and he just went straight over, turned it off. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm turning it off. Can't, turn it off, Dad. Turn it Don't. I can't. When he comes in, you can't have that on. Well, it's a very personal thing, isn't it? You don't want to share it necessarily with everybody. You want it to be your own. You don't want to share how embarrassing your dad is. Yeah, I like the way that you say your record collection is crap as well. It's like you're almost proud of it, aren't you? Uh, it's <laughs> how never, shit it is. <laughs> not easy to listen to, is it, some of my stuff? You know, I, I do buy things that I, even I am challenged by. And I've kind of, well, one of them was this. Um, 
a new band, well, they're not fairly new. Um, I think the first time came out the year before we last. They had a really great new album out just out in um, this month or yeah, Feb- January. Um, Code Orange, and they are <coughs> they're um, another American band, I'm afraid, but they um, have um, they're kind of hardcore, but with with elements of other stuff in it. So there's sort of some electronic, and there's They've got a female singer and a male a guy singer as well, but they're quite young. They're in their early 20s. Is she quite whaley, quite Susie-esque? So you'll like it. Yeah, I think she, you were playing them. It looks like the one that's going to be the really big crossover hit is going to be this girl singing whose name's Reba. And she's like super cool. You know, like Kim Deal was really cool for yeah. the picks. Well, she's that. She's of a Kim Deal type coolness. She's oh, amazing. A, hardcore looking girl just like long brown hair like not dressy up stuff but just really good vocals really but the band are really heavy and really tight and you know you just it's just exciting you know hearing a band like that that's got so much energy and when you hear them talk as well they've got that kind of slightly kind of they've got attitude but they've got knowledge and they're kind of and obviously they've got experience beyond their years because they're turning out stuff that's kind of better than most of the other stuff that's been out around them for quite a long time and their videos are really heavy it's almost like they're really intense almost horror film type vibe to the oh, to the wow because that's important isn't it i think image and the band's attitude goes hand in hand with their appeal i don't think i mean you can have brilliant music on its own but i think if you've got the full package i think it appeals to more people uh frank carter i don't know if you're aware of him uh, who is um used to be the singer of Gallows, and he, uh, there are, um, Frank Carson, the Rattlesnakes, just bought a new album out, which came out um, last Friday, and I had that on order for like months before, so I got it on the Ghost Green Vinyl copy, and you hear him, you know, it's great, you hear people talking about, oh, there's that Ghost Green Vinyl, everyone got, no, that sold out months ago, and go, oh, I've got one, you know. We know uh, you love your coloured vinyl. Oh, I do. I've seen a lot of your coloured vinyl, and I, I'm a big fan of the coloured vinyl, and the picture discs. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of, um, do you know what? I'm slightly less of a fan of picture discs than I am of uh, what I really like is the spatter vinyl. You know, when they do a really unusual one. I got a few, the other, one the other day, um, Milk Teeth, who's another band that I've been listening to that I like. And I got that, I got that through and I wasn't expecting it to be coloured vinyl because it wasn't advertised. And it was an amazing kind of bright blue and orange swirl. It was just like the best thing. You get it out and go, wow. And the album cover's also done in orange and blue. And it always looks really pretty when it's going around on the turntable too, because it has like an almost hypnotic effect. It does, yeah. It's it's very, very exciting. I'm done. I'll check. Spin round like a record baby. Oh, look at that. You got you got foam all over your ears. I know. That's the downside. Now I'll have to answer the door probably in a minute and do it in public whilst you know I'm doing the public right now. And the other one, the the steady. God Christ, you were like. What? <laughs> you were really scraping your skin there. It's like you don't go easy, do you, on your head? No, never go easy. Never go easy, Phil. Never go fucking easy. Well, that's marvellous, Max. That's uh, that's great to hear all your musical musings once again. This is something we don't normally push with you, but I think it's a perfect opportunity for you to actually promote where you are, where people can find you. It's Junkyard Max, isn't it, on Twitter? Uh, yeah. Is it? Um. Uh... Yeah, because I've got Max Physique Photo, which is the sexy, sexy page with lovely people. And then Junkyard Max is the stag one, which is going to hit 40,000 followers. That's 40, amazing. 40,000 followers! 18 new followers. All still on 39.9. Look at that. There's proof there. Right there in the hand so of many. Max. So, so that's where you can find him. Junkyard Max on Instagram with 40,000 yeah. followers. People love you, don't they? But I found a new pagan god that I really liked, uh, Sinanus, That's um, uh, he's the he's like a pagan um, sort of Celtic stroke, you know, Viking god of uh, nature and um, sexy stuff. And he's a, a guy with stag horns. I'm sort of you know, if you look into that, there's some great images of him, Sinanus. C E R N U W N O S. Fabulous. Check him out on uh, check out the Pagan God of the Month. I will do that right now. And you will go off to the bathroom and check out the bits I've missed. Check out the bits you've missed and wipe yourself down like a like a good boy. Oh, see you now. <laughs> Love you, Max. Love you too. Over and out. Bye. See you soon. Have a happy time. Phil Marriott. 